Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box random team break number 5 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All teams are in and all card ship. That's pretty nice. Two on-card chrome autographs per master box. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. All the baseball teams are in, so let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a two, eight times for each list. One, two, three. And eighth and final time. After eight, we got Ryan down to Chris. Six and a two, eight times for the teams. One, two, three. Seven and eighth and final time. Good luck. We got the Yankees on top. Down to the White Sox. Nice. All right, so Ryan, D, you have the Yankees. Richard with the Angels. Sean Maddock with the Pirates. Adam with the uh, Padres. Sean Mercer with the Red Sox. Aaron Clark with the Braves. Ryan H with the Astros. Ryan C with the Indians. Kyle Cook with the Phillies. Ryan D with the Blue Jays. DJ with the Tigers. Zach with the Twins. John Samuelson with the A's. Darren Redding, you got the Rocks. Richard with the Mariners. DJ, you got my Dodgers. Lee with the Royals. Deborah with the Reds. Brad with the Giants. Tyler with the Brewers. Michael with the Mets, Mark, Last Spot Mojo, Orioles, Chris Walker with the Cardinals, Yancey with the Diamondbacks, Adam with the Rays, Richard with the Marlins, Michael with the Rangers, Aaron with the Nats, Richard, uh, main version has the Cubs, there's another Richard Miller here too that shops with us, and Christopher P with the White Sox, there you go. Well, life's not fair, Rex, if you don't buy a spot, you're not in the break. All right, so trades are allowed. Feel free to trade if you like. Uh, Red Sox up for trade, maybe Twins Red Sox. Keep that checklist in your brain. Do I have a checklist for you? Yeah, here's a checklist group by team in the chat. That'll open up a PDF. Indians are up for trade as well. So I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a trade. Zach is out of the twin spot and in the A spot. And John is in the out of the A spot and into the twin spot. He likes the twins. So that, I think maybe that, that trade worked out nicely. Let's print and rip. All right. So there you go. On the 24th, 12 box random team number five, 2020 Bowman Chrome Baseball. There it is. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. We got a little hoops action coming to a close. My Lakers up 112 to 108 on the Denver Nuggets with 23.2 seconds left. Not, 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 not a lot of time, a lot of time, but not a lot of time. a little space right there is two four six eight ten and twelve right here all right good luck everybody sorry Rex what what break idea was that I must have missed it in the middle of all the trades
do a blaster or a pack ring at the end of the top spot gets an HTA full case broken for them. That'd be a pretty... I don't know if anybody would do that. Because you would have to divide the price of an entire HTA case divided by 30 in the blaster break. That'd be a lot. Just for one person to possibly get a case? I'm not, I'm, I think I'd have a hard time convincing people to get into that. <laughs> There's Kyle Lewis. I don't know if people are, are that, that, that spicy. All right. There's Kyle Lewis for the M's. That'll be for Richard. There's Royce Lewis to 499 for the Twins, John Samuelson. Aristides Aquino goes to Debra. And Brady Whalen is our autograph. That goes to Chris Walker and the Cardinals. There you go. Nice win, Lakers. Nice win. And nice to Tease Jr. right here. And these purple shimmers are not uh, are not numbered. There's Will Wilson to 150. And a Kyle Lewis autograph for the Mariners. There you go, Richard. Nice. To 499. Is this your AL Rookie of the Year? Different container for this. Right. Oh, Rex, your argument said that people bought the Pelicans for nine hundred bucks in a filler break. Yeah, but I think there's a chance of getting a Zion card that could be worth. I mean, what's the what's the best card you can get? What's the best Zion card you can get? What does that go for? You know, think of, and what's the best card in here? What does that go for? I think the best Zion would go for tens of thousands of dollars in a, in a lot of the major products, and then the best thing you can get out of an HTA case is maybe a one of one Luis Robert. What would that Luis Robert go? I don't think as much as a Zion. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that would work. All right, there's a thick card down there on the bottom. Looks like some sort of Arizona Fall League card. Looked like. All right, let's keep going. Kyle Mueller. There's a Luis Robert right there. Then do it and have the top 15 people win two random teams in a full case? I think at that point, I mean, we've been selling out these full cases almost at a almost at at a quick of a clip as the as the picker teams so no I don't think that would I don't think we would we would be interested in, I mean we haven't had even had to do a filler for these random team breaks so I think we could just go one case at a time pretty easily that's jelly by the way he pronounces it jelly Sean jelly that's for the Giants 
and uh, Brad, that Jordan will go to Ryan H. and the Strohs. Uh, yes, Kyle Cook, you have, you got randomized the Philadelphia Phillies. I think I only see you with one spot, right? 87 out of 99, Domingo Leba. Yancey with the Diamondbacks. There is Kyle uh, Alec Manoa, not Kyle Manoa, to 150. For the Blue Jays, that'll be for Ryan. And then we've got Graham Stinson, 273 out of 499. That'll be for Adam and the Rays. Exactly, Rex. That's why we. That's why we don't have to do. Like these wild, like exotic uh, group break styles. We can just we can just afford to keep it simple here. We can keep it simple. There's Trevor Larnock. There's a Bo Bichette right there, and Alex Kirloff to 250 purple for John Samuelson and the Twins. Another up and coming prospects. Yeah, that is a Arizona Fall League card. It's Daniel Lynch of the Royals. Ooh, nice. And you got a hologram sticker in there too. If you go to MLB.com slash authentication and punch in JC520197, you can see exactly uh, see exactly where that came from. David, that's gonna go tomorrow. We'll take a look at the schedule. And you'll note that this is the last break of the night, unless opulence fills, which I think it has. So yeah, we're, we are booked for the night, unfortunately. No late night tonight either. We will have late night tomorrow, though. So this is the last break, or this is the second to last break of the night. We've got one more quick little basketball break to go, and then uh, and then we're calling it a night. But we will be back tomorrow uh, early at 10 a.m. Pacific for all the new releases tomorrow. It should be a really busy Friday tomorrow. I wish we did, Kyle. I think we are in the process of of uh, getting hats. Jaspie trucker hats would be cool. I don't think we're getting truck trucker hats this round, but no opulence will happen tonight. I think I mentioned that that I, that opulence would happen if it fills, and it did, Michael. Yeah, that that was that was the deal I said early on. And that's also in the break schedule. Please take a look at the break schedule, everybody. That if Opulence sells out, that that would be the one break that I do after this. And it did. So it's going to. It's going to happen. And so that Opulence would be the last break of the night. Matt Libitor. Eight hours. Or eight hours today went by really quickly, folks. I don't know if there's a traditional case hit in this, Sean Mercer. Another nice Miguel Amaya Arizona Fall League card with the MLB hologram sticker. I hope we see that those stickers more often in the future. Miguel Amaya is a cub. That'll go to Richard Miller. And again, if you go to Jaspies, or if Jaspie, you can't go to Jaspies for this. If you go to MLB.com slash authentication, go to J and hit JC 638-909. You can get all sorts of information about about that, where what dates that came from? Tony Gonsolin to four ninety nine. Oh, and Isaac Paredes for the Tigers, popping right there. That goes to DJ. I like that Tops puts the team names on there now. Ooh, a Jaspie's beanie would be nice. I'm looking to those. That's one thing, admittedly, that that we have 
but we are not strong in our swag game. Which has to be swag game, not strong. We need to we need to order more. We need to order more T-shirts and other other little goodies here. Got a Jason Dominguez hiding in here too, for the Yankees. I don't think those go for as much as his earlier cards. Is his firsts, but still some value there. There's Aurelvis Martinez to 99 for the Blue Jays. Bucket hats as well. Should we just start a, a Jaspie's clothing line? We could. Should. Out of 499. 85 out of 499. Tigers. That'll be DJ. That's a market we really do need to hit on. You don't think many breakers do? Well, I don't think. I mean, do do breaker do breakers brand themselves in such a way that you want to throw even more money at them and buy like stuff like accessories? I think that's the, that's the thing. I mean, most. That's why we don't really have the have that product. Because I feel like, who wants to buy t-shirts that have a breaker's name on them? Some do, right? You want a Bubba the Pug hat? That'd be pretty cute. Like we're it's not like we're musicians though artists or anything like that buying buying swag at the uh, at the concert or maybe we have reached that level I don't know bots you would you would buy a Jaspie's beanie Laurel would buy cap hats and hoodies just to be all all decked out in Jaspie's I mean that Jaspie's logo is is a cool logo for. I mean it's almost as cool as an In and Out logo. Almost. But if you're wearing a shirt, how often do you think that would happen, Rex? If you were wearing the shirt and someone asked you what that is, how often are you dealing with that many people? You work overnights. And the rest of the time, you're, you're taking care of your family. Are you out there in the public? Maybe I'm just underrating the... the... It would work if everybody wore a Jaspies t-shirt and they went to the National. That'd be awesome. Anthony K. blue autograph for, the, for Ryan and the Blue Jays. Are you work in a restaurant every day, Laurel? Would you be allowed to wear Jaspie's branded stuff at your restaurant? There's Sam Huff, Atomic, to 150 down there. There's Mackenzie Gore to 4.99, and another Ranger. There's Randy Florentino for Michael Z and the Texas Rangers.
And how many times have someone someone come up to you, Yancey, and asked you about that shirt, and you've explained it, and then sent business their way? P.S. Rex already has a shirt. Or are you talking? Still talking about the beanie? Did you hear the place they hold the national in Cleveland is shutting down? No more Cleveland National. Yancey said, I "Haven't been out of the house with that with the shirt." To be honest. See, so how can I how can I trust that that you'll wear our shirt out in public? Yeah, I want hard evidence though, Yancey. Not just what you what you can believe happens. Kyle Cook, you get called a nerd for wearing what? A case-breaking T-shirt? Oh, that's true. Yeah, you don't have a new logo shirt. Those are those are valuable now. So 2022 is looking for a new spot. I wonder where. I'll, I'll bet they'll probably just do it. They'll just move it back to like Chicago or or Atlantic City. They've done it in Baltimore before. I wonder if they'll move it back to Baltimore. I'd like to go to Baltimore. It's downtown near Camden Yards. I think is where they had it last time. And um, I think there's a nice aquarium there. No, they haven't done it on the West Coast. L.A. is too expensive. The only place to... Oh, I don't know where they do it in L.A. The only reasonable place in L.A. convention center-wise would be the L.A. convention center, but it's super expensive. San Francisco is probably even more expensive. San Diego is super expensive. That convention center is beautiful. Where they do Comic-Con and all that. I don't think... I don't think the national is at Comic Con level. See, it would that would be the best, but it's just so expensive. The 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 vendors and stuff that everybody that I mean, the, a lot of vendors are in the are in the Midwest on the East Coast. They'd have to fly all the way out here, travel all the way out here. I don't I don't know if they would do it. There's Carl Kaufman, Darren Redding with. I can just imagine all the old. Super old school card shop guys going. Oh, we're not going to, we're not going to San Diego. It's too expensive, and well, they grumble. Matthew Libertor for Chris Walker and the Cardinals. Chicago is yeah that 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 convention center right next to the airport in Chicago is really one of the best. Denver would be cool. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I I, heard, I remember that Jason. There's another Luis Robert for Christopher. Matt, what's going on? Denver would be interesting. I haven't thought about Denver. Back in there's Ryan Jensen to 4.99. Back in the day, there used to be all sorts of a number of nationals on the West Coast in Anaheim, mostly I think. The Anaheim Convention Center near Disneyland. 40 out of 4.99. Joan Mar Joan Martinez, not Joan. I realize it would not be pronounced Joan. That goes to the Red Sox, Sean Mercer. Yeah, a few years ago or so, the person that started the National passed away. And we do remember him kind of kicking around the idea of uh, kicking around the idea of bringing it back to the West Coast. I don't think it had been in the West Coast since like the 90s maybe. In Anaheim or something like that. Vegas might be a decent a decent place now that now that Tops has done a number of events there. Maybe maybe the the national crew could look at that. I don't know if he had a card shop in Vegas. Maybe way back in the day, but I think I think his son runs. Yeah, Mike Burkus, I think his name was. I think his son kind of handles things now. The National is such a huge production, though. A lot of those convention centers are booked like years in advance. So 
So there's that. And it's just, uh, it's just pretty pricey. A sport hoodie, that'd be a pretty cool box. Should we just get Adidas to sponsor us? I would love that. If I could get a, 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 a snow white hoodie, orange stripes on the left and right side, big Jaspi logo on the back, zip up, woo, woo, fire. Adidas right at the back of the neck or in the back of the hood or something like that. Adidas logo. There's Luis Garcia at a four ninety nine. That'll be for Aaron Clark. Yeah, we met we met him a couple of times. The Jaspi teams met Mike Burke a couple of times, John, and he was awfully he's always nice to us. You know, Boss Man's been juiced into the hobby for a long time too, so they're they're familiar with each other. There's Max Lazar for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Tyler Peterson. A's will get that uh, Jorge Mateo. That's going to be for Zach Paul. Francisco Alvarez, purple. Is that Jorge Mateo picture Yerkes and Profar? I don't know if I would be able to tell those guys apart. Oh, and another Isaac Paredes for the Tigers. That's another one for you, DJ. Yeah, the people at top should know. There's a card shop. You move to Alaska and there's one card shop. Burke is his son. You ran him in the store. You used to go to the Vegas store all the time. Hmm. You used to live in Alaska? What were you doing in Anchorage? We've got a few customers in that area too. Teach. I'm, laugh I'm laughing because it's because I read that as trading first, John Samuelson. I read that as trading because I was just like, I wonder if John Samson was living the life of an old 1800s fur trader. Yeah, exactly. That he was he was in the Yukon trading furs and battling bears in the forest of the Yukon, like the Revenant. Hi, Justin Larson. There's a breaker out there. He's from Brewtown. All right. And? <laughs> yeah, we sure do, Justin. We sure do. Why, were they mean to you? Tanner Hawk to four ninety nine, and needs to increase his autograph a little bit. There's Byron Laura, Michael Z with the Rangers. <laughs> no, we don't want to use that slogan, Rex. We want to, 
we want to under promise and over deliver every time. If we start setting the bar that high, then everyone thinks they should be getting hundred thousand dollar hits. Clark Schmidt to ninety nine green shimmer for the Yankees. That'll be for Ryan D. There's Andres Jimenez, Arizona Fall League relic. For the Mets, nice. That goes to Mike Z and the Metropolitans. Yeah, are you trying to take business away from us, Justin Larson? If you're not helping, you're hurting, man. Wait, he has... Brewtown has... A breaker in Os in Alaska? I thought they were I thought they did all their work in Milwaukee. That doesn't make sense. Drew Avens makes sense, because it's real. It's right there. To two fifty. DJ Mendenhall with the Dodgers. <laughs> we could certainly use that as a slogan, Rex. That would be my favorite slogan. A little over halfway through this case, folks. Got another, oh, 20 minutes or so to go. Actually dragging a little bit on this break. Opulence coming up after this, and that'll be the last break of the night. Anything else that sells out will be tomorrow, folks. As we, as stated in the description. Are there usually this many... Arizona Fall League cards, I feel like we've gotten more than we usually do. When's the last time I opened up a hobby case? I just don't remember. <laughs> There's another one. Oh no, that's something else. Is this some sort of uh, relic hot case that we have here, folks? Justin Larson loves the show so much, tries to send take business away from us. Yeah, Sean Mercer, I think we're seeing something that is that is unique. There's Ryan Vallad for the Rockies. Maybe we just got the relic case. We got Julio Rodriguez. For the Mariners, Richard with that one. Mariners with a good break. Couple relics, some Kyle Lewis's, the Kyle Lewis autograph. We'll do a recap at the end of this too. Jesus Lazardo for the A's to 499. And Oziel Rodriguez to 499. That'll be for the Yankees. Ryan with that one. There's Blue Sal Perez to 150 for the Royals. There's Brett Beatty to 499 for the Mets. Farm to Fame, Hank Aaron. I like these little inserts too. Those are pretty cool. And we've got another hit here. It's Jersey and Autograph. Jose Altuve. Is that on the card? I think so. Yeah, 24 out of 50. That goes to the Astros, Ryan H. That's right, John Samuelson. Cheater. Never forget. All right. Four boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen.
Good luck. Did indeed. Did indeed. And probably robbed Aaron Judge of an MVP. Robbed people of, of jobs throughout the season. Boggs, you talk, you talked to your sister a couple days ago about breaks and jazz fees, and she got into a break. Nice. Did she get anything? I hope she got something. No, I know. I'm teasing Justin Larson. Relax. It's all good. It's all good. We don't really care. I just think it is it is funny when there there are breakers that get so sensitive about about uh but I think those breakers are usually on a smaller scale tend to be the most sensitive about about like loyalty. Well, really listen. We're a business. We get it. All right, next box. Eduardo Escobar to four ninety nine, and we got a Devin Man, Manfred Man, blinded by the light. That was Manfred Man, right? Revved up like a deuce, another runner in the night. Michael Man, Michael Man in heat. Give me all your gut. Give me all your gut. Says that too. That <laughs> goes to Yancey. She's got a great hour. And you've got your head all the way up it. That's a good line from Heat. I had coffee with Macaulay half an hour ago. There's Jordan Blazovich. Blazovich for the Twins. So it looks like it's John Samuelson drawing first blood in... That trade. So let's maybe we can find an A to balance things out for Zach. Yeah, there's some good heat. There's good good lines in the heat. You see my brother Richard. He in Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. There's Arizona Folly right there. Phoenix. By the time I get to Phoenix, she'll be rising. She'll leave a note right on the door. Yeah, my Al Pacino is not very good. There's a Von Herrera for the Cardinals. Another one with that nice MLB hologram logo. I don't know. I can't. If I if I really get into an Al Pacino, then they'll just it just ruins my voice for like a couple days, and I kind of need that to do my job. All right, Devon Herrera for the Cardinals. That goes to Chris Walker, who has the Red Birds. Next box. Well, there's some other good lines on there. I guess there's the, the heat around the corner line is pretty good. Remember when they were in the San Pedro Harbor in, in heat, and the cops are looking around, and they're, they're like, what are they looking at? Vincent, what are they looking at? You know what they're looking at? This guy's good. <laughs> this guy's real good. You know what they're looking at? Us. The LAPD. Police Department. Oh, I want to watch that movie now. Should we turn that movie on? I need a DVD player here. You know who I'm talking to? An empty telephone. Because there's a dead man on the other end of this line. That's pretty good. Robert De Niro is also in it. Val Kilmer's in it too. Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Wayne Grove. Wayne Grove. 
That's also way. I mean, that's not a funny sense of person dying, but. Pete, top five move for you, no doubt. Absolutely. That's up there. I, I kind of forget about it being a top five movie, but I clearly watch it a lot. Yeah, Hank Azaria's reaction was real. <laughs> in that in that scene. When he busts into that to his office. And he goes, Charlene so and so. And then he's like, who? And the Pacino goes, who? Who? What are you, an F and L? <laughs> and that part always gets me. He says the F word, but this is a family show, so I can't do a lot of the lines in heat. There's Mike Ciani for the Reds. I, I can say that. That goes to Deborah. Two, three, four out of 250. There's Wildred Patino for the Diamondbacks. And then he goes, and then that's for Yancey and the Diamondbacks. Who? Who? What, what are you, an F and L? And then he's like, oh, I don't know, I got mixed up with that crazy girl. He says, he says another word, but. Cause she's got it right on. You've got your head all the way up it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> when I think of a woman, something comes out of me. For, <laughs> I think he says, ferocious, aren't I? <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, Tone Low, great cameo. Is, is, our, is Albert dead? Albert! Don't waste my mother effing time. Alex Young to 499. Rex, I cannot talk about that on the record while this video is going. Nationals, Aaron Clark. Where, Albert, one of Albert's lines, where's your empathy, brother? Empathy was yesterday. Today, <laughs> empathy was yesterday. Today, you're wasting my mother effing time. I told you I watched the movie a lot, Zach. I told you I watched the movie a lot. Well, oh, there, there is another great one. It was like, Remember, remember Ralph, 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 sit down. Does that sit down? Well, that's that part is great. <laughs> he turns around, sit down, and, you're, <laughs> and he plops right back down. Uh, good, good, that was great. It's fantastic. Oh no, John, are you trying to poke holes in the brilliance that is heat? All five and a half hours of that movie is brilliant. Right, you do not get to watch <laughs> my effing television set. Oh, so good. Yeah, actually, yeah, the, 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 the De Niro, I think you had to have the love interest angle for, for De Niro with Edie. Because, uh, he was, to, to, to reinforce that he would walk away from anything if he saw the heat coming around the corner, even that, even love, he would walk away from because he's just that kind of criminal. Like, that's how he's built. That's the discipline. You know, I think, I think you have to, have to bring that in because then you're, then you're just thinking, why? You could have just left with her and gone straight to the airport and leave and you had all the cash. You'd be ready to go. You could leave the life, right? No. Not leave the life. He had to go get Wayne Grow. He had to go get Wayne Grow. And the Natalie Portman humanizes uh, humanizes Al Pacino's character too, because Al Pacino. Because really, the whole the whole basis of the movie is that is that both Pacino and De Niro those while one while De Niro's the bad guy, 
and, and, and Pacino's the quote unquote good guy. They're the cops and robber, right? They're both the same. That's the thing. They're both the same. Seth Corey goes to the Giants. That'll be for Brad. And that's the thing. So their mentality is the same. He's obsessed with catching robbers. And Robert De Niro is, is obsessed with robbing. They got to... It's classic cops and robbers. So you have to have the the love and or the love and the the humanizing interest for for Al Pacino was his stepdaughter. So that that softens both of the characters. Otherwise, it's just a straight cop and robber movie. Then it could be like anything. But there's more emotion involved. Think about that. There's betrayal. A Val Kilmer's wife, you know, has to make a decision. You know, they're all making a decision when the heat comes around the corner. Right? So what do you do when the heat comes around the corner? There's a uh, Logan O'Hop. Oh, I'm going to go with Hop. That goes to the Phillies. That'll be for Kyle Cook. There's Andres Munoz to 499 Padres. Oh, that's right. Safe Driver Save 40% is in that movie. That's right. He was actually driving. <laughs> and there's an orange farm to fame, Frank Thomas, at 25. Um, who was the who was the other guy that organized all of that kind of got them all together and handled the money? Why am I blanking on his name? Angelina Jolie's dad. There's Michael uh, Michael Macy for the Royals. That'll be for Lee. It's a star-studded cast too. Really stars. Yeah, Henry Rollins was in there. John Tamison mentioned John Voight. All right, John Voight's in it. Star-studded cast, ladies and gentlemen. Robert De Niro, Al Pacino. I think Wes Studi is in it. Danny Trejo's in it. Safe Driver Save 40%'s in it. Ashley Judd is in it. Natalie Portman's in it. It's really good. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. It's a great movie. Uh, John Samson, have you ever seen... Uh, the original Michael Mann movie that it was supposed to be. You can find chunks of it on um, you can find chunks of it on uh, YouTube. Michael Mann originally wrote it and wanted it to be a movie in the early '80s, but nobody could, no one would finance it. So he eventually had to. Eventually, it was a TV movie. I think it was called L.A. Story. The actors are obviously TV actors. So the acting is really bad, but a lot of the lines are the same. So it's really funny hearing them say it. And then Michael Mann then got some other pictures done and then got famous and then, and then they let him do that movie in the 90s the way he wanted it to. I think it's called LA Story, I wanna say. It's pretty great. Not that I, not that I deep dive into heat and all things heat. There's Gunnar Mayer, another Philly, for Kyle Cook. Kyle, we're we're gonna do a recap at the end, so you're gonna you're, you'll be you and everyone else will be able to see everything. Esteban Floriel for the Yankees. That'll be for Ryan.
Is Jay Groom. Another Bo Bichette. All right, and our final autograph is Cody Michael Bolton. 184 out of 250 purple auto for the Pirates. Sean Maddock with that one. And there you, sorry, Luis Garcia. There you go, everybody. Remember, all cards ship, so everything you saw in this break, if you have that particular team, will go to you. So thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Let's do a quick recap here of the autos. And a lot of interesting stuff in this break. A lot of relics in this break. I feel like more, more than usual in this. See, we've got, got a lot of those kind of relics. There's the Altuve relic and autograph. Some Kyle Lewis's, some Luis Roberts. No Luis autog uh, Robert autograph, but a couple of his, his base cards were pretty cool. So there you go. Thanks for giving it all you got. Thanks for the heat chat. Uh, we'll chat more about that some other time. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.